In this video, we're going to cover configuring WordPress and configuring the new theme that you just installed. Now, configuration is going to be different for each theme. Um, and uh, <laughs> just my luck, I chose one of the most complicated themes by accident that I've ever um, had to deal with. But I guess it's good so I can show you, you know, exactly how to do all that stuff in case you encounter it too. But usually, just so you know, things will be easier than this. Um, but then again, with that said, with this kind of configuration also comes a lot of flexibility in the theme. So it means you'll be able to do a lot of different cool stuff with the theme without having to hire a web designer or web programmer to um, recode stuff for you. So I've gone through steps uh, one through three already in the videos previous, uh, in the previous videos, you know, like installing the theme and stuff. So step four, for this theme, we got to set permissions for the Tim Thumb script. That's just a little program that resizes images, so you don't have to upload different sizes of images on your site. If you have one, then it'll resize it to look great in different places, no matter where it is on your site. So it says, for proper functioning of the script, we need to set permissions for the following files and folders: WP content, themes, brand new scripts, scripts and cache uh, or cache, and then TimThumb.php. So we're going to go to IPH control panel, file manager, and then click on the little thing to open, um, the little plus sign to open WP content, plus sign for themes, plus sign for brand new, which is the one we just installed. And then let's check the permissions set for scripts. He said it needs to be set to 755. Let's check what that is right now. Uh, or what it needs to be 755 so it looks like it's already taken care of for some reason <clears throat> alright now let's click over here um, on the scripts folder open it up and we see two things cache and timthumb.php let's check the permissions timthumb.php needs to be set to 644 it's already set to that so we don't need to change it and then cache folder which is where images are going to be stored that needs to be set to 777 so we can see it's 755 right now let's click the checkbox next to cache move the mouse up here and click on permissions and set it to 777 click change alright awesome so that's done click this little X let's see what's next uh, theme is already activated. We don't need to do it, deal with that. Um, let's see. Yes. Okay. As we can see, he has a screenshot in here. Upon activation, the theme would look like this, and that's what we saw in the last video. So let's set up the home page. All right. So in setting up the home page, there are two options. You can either have blog posts on the home page or you can create a custom page of full width to set as the home page. By default, your home page will show blog posts. So we'll see how to set up a full width page as a home page. We're going to go to pages, add new, do home. And I believe in the previous video we already covered that. So let's check to make sure that's done. Yep, looks like I have a home page set there. Um, I want to make sure that there's no other information I'm going to need to enter in here. Let's see, portfolio, these are different kinds of pages. I'm going to re refer back to this document real quick. So it says scroll down to custom fields and create a new custom field called sidebar. Give a value, none. Okay, so that means it's not going to have any sidebar. So type sidebar, none then click add custom field. I'm going to update this page and then just in case you missed it in the last video I want to show you in settings where you need to set that home page to be on the front of your site on the home. So you go to settings reading and then where it says front page displays instead of your latest posts set a static page and choose home. So um, let's check out what the site looks like now. I wonder if it looks any different. Okay, looks like it's showing 
what I had in that post and it would be full width. Let's keep going. I want to point out before we continue to talking about home page slider, uh, the image slider and stuff, that in this theme uh, and in a lot of these premium themes you'll get um, some like dummy data like stuff you can just paste in and see what it should look like so let's j let's check out um, home page with a sidebar that's just going to open up a text document I'm going to hit control A and control C to copy it to, I mean to select all and copy it then I'm going to go here back to my page called home edit that it's pretty fast actually and click on the HTML tab since I saw HTML in there and then click update let's see what it looks like now alright so we can see there's some stuff done here he used short codes in that content to get these um, side by side paragraphs I'll show you more about that later let's continue setting up the theme so the next step is going to be configuring the home page slider and the content. And if you remember the theme when we saw it before, it has this really awesome picture slider uh, that's linked to posts. So the first thing you do is prepare some images. Um, I got some images of mountain biking because I like mountain biking and I'm going to create a category now um, by going to posts and then categories. And I'm going to create a new category called featured. This is for anything that goes in the that I want to go in the sliders. Alright, so that category has been created and now what we're going to do is roll the mouse over the featured category and then look at the bottom of the screen. You'll see the link down there. It's got a bunch of stuff in it but at the end it says tag ID equals 3. So the first category, the default one in WordPress, uncategorized uncategorized is using tag ID 1 so featured is using tag ID 3 note that down and um, we're going to use that to set up the slider so now we're going to go create a new post that will be going in the slider we're in the post and now let's, let's click add new I'm going to fill this with whatever cool biking stuff. I'm going to set the category to featured and now we're going to over it where you see upload and insert click the first icon add an image. It's going to put up a pop-up box and then we're going to click select files browse for your image which one do I like? I like this one with the snow for right now for the first one alright so the image has been uploaded we're not going to click insert into post like we would if we wanted to just make a normal post and put the image in there we're going to see where it says link URL um, we are going to click in there and then copy and then down at the bottom click save all changes click the little X scroll down here and we're going to enter a new custom field called thumb for thumbnail. Click add custom field after you've pasted that image URL in there. And now I'm going to scroll up again and click publish. Now to get that showing up on the home page you only have to do this once. Remember that category ID that I had you write down? Which was three in this case. We're going to click on brand new options and then look uh, over here, category ID to fetch images from, set it to 3. And the size to show, 2, that's fine. And I'm going to click save changes. And now we can see on the home page that slider is there. So if you click this down arrow and there were more images in there, it would go through them. So let's uh, go ahead and add another one. I'll pause it so we don't take your time. All right, I'm back, and uh, I spent you know maybe 15 minutes setting up the rest of the site, um, basically following step by step the directions that the author gave in his uh, documentation. <coughs> Excuse me. And any theme that you buy 
is going to have this kind of documentation in it. So you never have to worry about that. I just didn't want to spend all this time setting up the menus, portfolio page, widgets, and all that stuff, you know, because it's going to make the video way too long. And, you know, I, I'm, I might make other videos teaching you how to do that stuff. But really, this is like the most complicated theme I've ever downloaded. And uh, chances are you're not even going to use it. So I don't want to train you to build a, a, you know, build a website using this specific theme because it's almost never going to be this much setup and they all come with documentation and as always if you have any questions just email me at ian at ipagetraining.com and I'll make a video about it and then um, I'll email you back and let you know it's up so you can uh, see that training I made for you real quick it's fun for me and it's a good experience and um, helps me make the site better so with that said, thanks for watching, and um, let's go on to the next video.